welcome back to another lecture on fiber optics in the last lecture we studied a very important property of an optical fiber that is numerical aperture we saw that numerical aperture defines sine of the maximum angle which the ang which the instant ray makes with an optical fiber in order to undergo total internal reflection it can also be defined as light gathering capacity of an optical fiber now after studying the numerical aperture we move forward and now we would like to classify fibers based on different properties the first classification we do it is based on profile refractive index profile let us see that now the first kind of fiber based on refractive index profile i take as i am not giving you the name we'll try to guess the name by understanding the property so the property is i take the fiber where the refractive index of core and cladding indices are constant so what is my profile of the fiber the refractive index of core and cladding are constant and they are n1 and n2 respectively now from the very basic principle we have already understood that in order to go undergo undergo total internal reflection the refractive index of core should be more than clad so this we already know now if i would like to draw the profile of such kind of fiber where the refractive index of core and clad are constant n1 is greater than n2 by using this information if i try to draw the profile what does it look like on the y axis i draw refractive index on the x axis i draw r what is r r is the distance i take from the central axis of the fiber this is my r so this zero is my central axis so as i go away from the central axis of the fiber at one side so it means when i start from here i am checking the refractive index of the core and then it will come clad because from the central axis first core will come and then clad now i have given you the information that the refractive index of core and clad are constant and respectively n1 and n2 now i would like you all to think that how do you draw the profile when i start from the central axis of the optical fiber so what does it look like and from central axis to the core if for example here it is still core after that it is clad this is my core clad interface so how does it look like for core it is constant n1 for clad it is constant n2 but n1 is greater than n2 so how do i draw this for core n1 it is constant and for clad it is again constant but less than so this is n1 and for clad some less than this is my n2 so i join here this is my interface so n1 changes to n2 so what is this profile look like this is known as step index fiber which is a obvious name because we all have studied in maths that such kind of profile is known as step so this is my first classification of fiber step index fiber based on refractive index profile now the second classification based on the same refractive index profile i tell you that now i take my fiber where the refractive index
of core varies with distance how it varies i'm not telling you we'll try to see understand from the core axis and again the refractive index of clad is constant so for the core now i cannot take n1 okay i'll give you so first of all we'll try to guess that how does the profile of such kind of fiber look like for clad i'm giving you n2 constant but for the core it is not n1 now let us try to see what kind of profile this fiber will have again i am taking nr and this is r r is the distance again starting from the central of the central axis of the fiber now we know that though the refractive index of core is changing but still in order to undergo total internal flexion it has to be more than the clad so if from the central axis till here it is core and then after that it is clad for clad we know we can draw like this it is n2 but for the core it is not constant it is changing but how it is changing it is increasing or decreasing we that we have to think but we all know that the refractive index of core is more so this there is only one possibility of the refractive index of core which has to be that the refractive index of core will decrease it will be maximum at the central axis of the optical fiber and then it will decrease going towards the core clad interface this is the only possibility but the decrease can be like this it can be like this and it can also be like this but it has to be decrease so one thing is for sure that the core has maximum refractive index at center and then it decreases towards core clad interface and that at interface it becomes n2 so the profile of the core in general for core the profile is given as n1 under root 1 minus to delta we have already defined which is a fractional difference r upon a a is the radius of the fiber r is the distance starting from the this is general profile expression which i am giving to you so we can just see here that a, the the value of q is an integer integer q varies from 1 to infinity so you can see from this profile that when q is 1 when q is infinity what will happen at some time it will become equal to n1 which is we when which we go back to our step index fiber and the different values of q will give me different profiles of the fiber like this 1 2 and 3 where r is less than a so this becomes very small as q increases it becomes very small and at q tends to infinity it reaches to 
this value is very very small which can be neglected and it becomes equal to 1 and nr becomes n1 so for q tends to infinity it gives me again back the step index fiber there is an advantage of the and now we have not yet named this kind of fiber so this is change the little in english we have another name for a change that is known as graded that is why we define this kind of fiber as graded index fiber graded means change and so there are some advantages of graded index fiber over step index which we will see later that there is a kind of dispersion I'll explain later that what is in dispersion but in these kind of fibers are advantageous over step index fiber thank you we'll try to see some other kinds of fiber in our further lectures thank you